Hello and welcome to my sewing room for my first and last vintage sewing pattern haul of the year. If you've seen any of my sewing pattern haul videos before, you know that I am slightly addicted to purchasing vintage sewing patterns and you know that I enjoy showing them to you all here on this channel. But going into this new year, me purchasing enough sewing patterns to do one of these haul videos is just really not in line with my goals. Buying less and learning to use what I have. I really wanna get more into altering the patterns that I use and learning to adapt the sewing patterns that I have. So say take a bodice from one pattern and put it with a skirt from another to come up with a design that I really love. And I really would like to start designing my own sewing patterns as well. So I just don't see me, or at least I hope that through this year, I don't purchase enough sewing patterns to do one of these videos. I'm sure occasionally there will be a one-off when I find one that I just really love or one for a really good price. And I will post those over on my Instagram, which is so, so Drew. In case you don't already follow me there, I will leave a link to that. So yeah, this is the first and last vintage sewing pattern haul of the year. Um, on the bright side, some of the ones I'll be showing you today are my absolute favorites I've ever purchased. I think that's from over the past year, learning what I like and what I don't, as well as what's in my experience range to be able to sew. So I think it's pretty cool to sort of go out with a bang. So let me know in the comments below what your favorites are, what you would like to see me sew up on this channel. And I thank you for being here. If you like the video, like the video and all of those kind of things. So let's get into my first and last vintage sewing pattern haul of the year. So the very first one I have here is this very early 1960s sewing pattern. It is Butterick 2133. It's a bus 38 for a size 18. I think it's so funny how these are upside down. And so that makes this pattern envelope really unique. I just love the look of this with these really big buttons in the belt and these sleeves. This is just adorable. It says it's a Mrs. Front Button Dress with Off the Neck Collar set in below elbow sleeves, slightly deepened armhole, shaped flared skirt slash pockets with a purchase belt. View B is the collarless version with above elbow sleeves and a self tie belt. And so this is just a really gorgeous pattern next i have vogue 6952 it's a 36 inch bust a 39 inch hip for a size 18 and the copyright on this one is 1949 i love these giant pockets on the skirt that is like so 1940s i love the style of the little cropped jacket this is just a gorgeous pattern it says Fitted bolero buttons, long roll shawl collar, two patch pockets with flaps, three quarter length sleeves, turn back cuff and short sleeves. Slim three piece skirt has kick pleat at center back seam, two deep patch pockets with flaps. This is a lovely, lovely pattern. I like the look of it in the matching fabrics as well as the coordinating fabrics. Not sure how I would do it, but I love this. I took this out of here so that way it wouldn't have a glare, but this was packaged so nice and in such good condition. And this is an unprinted pattern, so I haven't worked with a lot of those, but that should be a lot of fun. The next one is also a Vogue pattern. It is 7595. It is a 36 inch bust, 39 inch hip, size 18. I love the skirt on this. I love the jacket. Um, it's actually a dress with a jacket. And so this is just a really, really nice pattern. It says four please Four piece flared skirt joins the fitted bodice at waistline, deep V neck line, cap sleeves, fitted slightly arched hip jacket, shaped collar, wide revers, detachable top revers, low two button closing, long sleeves, turn back cuffs. I'm not sure if I'm saying this word right. Revers, revers, not sure if you know, please let me know in the comments but this is a really gorgeous Vogue pattern. It is copywritten 1952. Next we have Simplicity 4089. It's a size 24, 38 inch bust. These 38 inch bust patterns fit me way better than the 36 inch bust. So I'm always happy when I find them, which they are a little bit harder to find. I'm just gonna have to start adding a few inches to the 36 inch patterns because I have a lot of those but i love the 38 inches more 
This is a really cute suit pattern as well. And so I'm gonna have to select one of these to do. I know I'm not gonna be able to get to all of them anytime soon, but just let me know in the comments which ones you would like to see me do first. This says Mrs. and Women's two-piece suit dress. The hip length fitted top has a small round collar. The skirt is eight gourd. View one features a weft sewn into side front waistline dart and contrasting trim on the collar and lower edge of long sleeves. Short sleeves accented by button trimmed cuff style. View two top stitching accents cuffs, front opening and collar. And there are 13 pieces for this, which isn't too bad for a suit. And so this one looks a little bit easier. I like the look of the darts here and how they sort of nip in the waist. And so I would definitely wanna do view one if I was gonna do this one. I'm not sure of the exact year of this, but it looks to be a 1940s. It's not in the best condition, so um, I need to get this packaged a little bit better or put up a little bit better. And so if you have any info on the year of this pattern, feel free to let me know. Next up, we have a butterig pattern. I really, really love this. I would love to do this in denim, which is something I have never worked with before. And so that would just be a thrill to do this in denim. There are only a few pieces for this dress, so it looks fairly easy. I can't really see what the description is because this envelope's not in the best condition, but it's a really, really nice pattern. Um, it's a bust 36, which is probably a size 18. So it's butterick. 7018 oh there's the rest of the envelope so yeah it's a size 18 but it looks fairly simple so yes i would love to pick up some denim and and do this pattern butterick 7018 once again i don't know the exact year of this pattern it does not say, but it looks to be a 1950s pattern. So if you have any information on Butterick 7018, feel free to let me know that as well. Next we have McCall's 2429. It's a 38 inch bust for a size 18. And this pattern is copywritten 1960. It is for Mrs. Apron and Shirt. I plan to do this one fairly soon. I want to sew this up to be able to wear when I'm sewing. A lot of times it's hard for me to want to film because I look so horribly or I don't feel like finding anything to wear to um, look good enough on camera. So I want to use this pattern, the McCall's 2429, to sew me up an apron and cute little blouse to wear while I'm sewing. So this one should be coming fairly soon. Next up, we have a Vogue pattern 9334, and this is for gloves, and it's an unprinted pattern. And I recently just tried to use this because I made a hat for my upcoming Mrs. Maisel video. Hold on, I'm gonna show it to you. So I made this hat. It didn't come out exactly as I had hoped, but for my very first one, it wasn't so bad. And so I made this hat and then I wanted to make the gloves to go with it. Um, this was super confusing that day. <laughs> it's unprinted, it's weird. And so I don't know if I'll be using this or not to make the gloves to go with the hat, but that video will be coming very, very soon where I make my outfit for the premiere of Mrs. Maisel season four. And so but either way, there will be gloves coming soon. I do think I can handle this pattern. Um, just on a day, I need to be rested because I could not, I could not handle it the day I tried, but, um, definitely want to start doing gloves because I mean, they're essential for a 1950s outfit. So stay tuned for gloves coming soon. If you have any tips or tricks or any resources you want to share for sewing gloves, feel free to do that as well. So this one is not as old as I normally go. This is a 1980s pattern, I believe, but I had this idea for the new year to do a pattern that was numbered for the new year. 
2022. And so this was the only one that I could find. And then I never got to it. If you see my last video, you know how chaotic my December was here. And so I just didn't get to it. But hopefully I can do it at the end of the year is like ending out 2022. It looks really simple and still stylish. It's 1980s, but I just thought it was so cute and that that was such a good idea. Do a pattern with the number of the year. So if you know any 2022 patterns or 2023 patterns, then feel free to share those um, and let me know what you think of that idea to sort of do that either at the beginning or the end of every year. So next up, I have an advanced pattern, 8878, eight, I believe. This looks like a 1960s pattern to me, but I'm not that sure. But she looks 1960-ish based on the hair and the style of the jacket or late 1950s. If you have any information on this pattern, it's 8878. Eight, then feel free to let me know. Let's see if we can find any information in here. It looks fairly simple. There's 19 pieces, but a lot of them have to do with facings and whatnot. And it looks fairly newer than some of the way the instructions are shown in 1940s and 50s patterns. So I'm going to date this about uh, 1962, I want to say. If you know better than please feel free to share the information. I definitely appreciate it all. Next up, we have Advance 6333, size 20, 38 inch bust for a 41 inch hip. And it is for a slip. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this on camera or not, just because I probably wouldn't wanna model it for you guys on camera. But if you wanna see me do it, um, I could model it, um, I could have the dress form model it rather. So let me know what you think of this. I want to make me a slip so bad I do not have one and I want to do some lace or something up there. I haven't worked with lace a lot before and so I think this is just darling um, to have a slip, old fashioned style slip and it looks fairly simple and easy to put together. And so not sure what year this is from but it appears 1950s. Oh, it's unprinted. Fairly late 1940s, early 50s. Not sure. I'm not even sure of the, the time range of when they started or stopped printing on patterns. If you have any of that information, please feel free to share it. I appreciate all you guys' feedback and all that you teach me and share with me. So if you know anything about the dates for printing and unprinting patterns, printed and unprinted patterns, then feel free to let me know. Cause this one's unprinted. So I wanna say it's, it's a 1950s pattern. I really love both of these patterns. This one reminds me of one I've done before based on the neck, but I'm just really, really into full skirts here lately. So, and the ones that say easy to sew. So we'll start here. This is McCall's 3528. It's a size 16 for a 36 inch bus. It's pretty thick in here, but I'm just guessing that's because of how full the skirt is. It has a copyright date of 1955. Give us a description, but it's kind of self-explanatory. It's a really full circle skirt and uh, the top sits low off of the shoulders. It would be so cool if this umbrella pattern or instructions or something were in here. That would be awesome but the skirt is just two big rectangles and the bodice looks fairly simple. There's only 10 pieces. And so this seems to be fairly easy. Um, and I'm sure I'll make this one up at some point. And it's copyright 1955, McCall's 3528. The next one is Advance. Let's see, I'm gonna open this up. It's Advance 9202. And it's also a full skirt, but I love how it's gathered um, into these little pleats here. The skirt back and side is a rectangle, and then the front is some narrower pieces, which I'm sure has something to do with how that gathers there. And so I really do like this pattern. Let's see if there's any information. 
nope it doesn't have a copyright year but it's gorgeous i love the neck and um it's just really gorgeous um this view has uh three quarter length sleeves which if you know me you know i like a lot just because i have this giant tattoo on my shoulder that i got when i was young so i always like to be able to cover it for me i would probably do the view with the full skirt but with the three quarter length sleeves instead of the short sleeves it's a short waist dress with a wide cape collar, lends itself equally well to a full or slim skirt. You have the choice, but each version is so easy to dress up or down. Your war wardrobe will love having at least one of each, which is true. And I'm moving more into working on my wardrobe this year instead of making just random pieces as I just have these ideas. And so I want a more cohesive wardrobe. And so that's what I'm going to be working on this year. So I definitely think these patterns were necessary for a wardrobe or to help me build my wardrobe. I do have a lot of patterns that I'm already in love with. I want to go through my patterns and sort them and, and figure out what I want to use. If you would like for me to film that, if you would watch me go through all of my sewing patterns, um, comment that down below. If enough people say yes, I will make probably an hour long video of me going through all the sewing patterns since I won't be doing any more hauls this year. So thank you for being here. If you like the video, like the video, um, leave me a comment. Let me know which one was your favorite, which one you would like to see me sew up. Or if you have any dating information in regards to the patterns, please share that as well. If you have any experience with any of these patterns, please let me know. And I thank you and I'll see you in the next one that is soon and sure to come.